Welcome to Style Masterclass, the podcast that teaches women to look stylish and feel confident so that they can show up ready to conquer and slay no matter what size they are. I'm your host, Miss J. You ready? Hello, welcome back to episode 122 of the Style Masterclass podcast. This is a live recording of the podcast, so if you are listening to just the audio-only version, you can catch the live replay on YouTube, and if you're only watching on YouTube, please know that there are hundreds of audio (laughs) recordings that proceed before I started doing this live. To dive into this week's topic, I want to talk about something that has sort of (laughs) amusingly come up during a few of my coaching calls this week. The question I often get from my clients is, well, how do I know if my clothes don't fit me? Why does it even matter? Well, (laughs) let's start with the, how do you know? Let's talk about a practical style tip. You will know if your clothes don't fit, if you're doing the ill-fitting clothes dance. Here are some moves to this dance. You're rolling your shoulders back. to get your bra band to come back down. You are doing this little move with your shoulder up and down, up and down your shoulder, trying to get your bra strap back into place. When you get up from your chair, you immediately lean forward to pull your panties and your pants over your belly. It's just like hunch forward, slide up move, right? Could look like a sexy belly roll, except for this may not be so sexy. Then there's a little hip wiggle where you're like trying to inch your jeans back over your booty. Okay, like the dance of the ill-fitting clothes. And we all know what this looks like. Or I have a client whose sleeves are too short for her arms. So she's like doing this forward motion with her hands to try and get her sleeves to come all the way down because she knows intuitively that something just doesn't feel right. And for all of you, there's going to be some version of this where you know something just doesn't feel right and you can't quite put your finger on it. So you start the insane little ill-fitting clothes dance moves to try to make it work. Here's why I have all of my clients start to pay attention to this. This is why in my program, we have an awareness week where we become aware of what's going on with our clothes, what's going on with our body. The purpose of this is twofold. One, women are socialized to believe that beauty is pain. They are socialized to believe that little discomforts are sort of part of being a woman. They're part of being stylish. And I want to completely debunk that. It's complete and utter BS. Beauty is not pain. And you should not have to tolerate any discomfort or ill-fitting clothing. Now, if you have this idea that, oh, because I'm plus size or I'm on the curvier side, they don't make things in my size, so I'm just used to wearing clothes that don't quite fit me. And if I find something that happens to be in my size, I never think about how it fits or whether I like it. I'm just so happy it comes in my size. So you end up with a bunch of clothing that doesn't actually quite fit your body or your personal style because fit is very expansive around here. So it's so important that in order to really debunk this myth and get to a place where beauty and style can also mean being comfortable in your clothes and in your own skin, you have to first recognize what's not working for you. What actually doesn't fit your physical body? What are you tugging at? What are you making work just because it so happens to fit some parts of you, but not the rest of you, or just happened to be on sale and you spent the money and you're telling yourself all these reasons why you should tolerate something that doesn't fit you. So first we have to become aware of it, which is why, how do you become aware of it? This is why I tell my clients to become aware of those little things 
the little dance that you're doing, that little wiggle dance, the little like belly jiggle, pull your pants up thing, the bra strap dance, the bra band dance, like all these little things that we do that we never really talk about. Well, let's talk about it some more because number one, it's totally normal to be experiencing these things. But of more import to change it, we have to first be aware of it so we know what it is we want to change. Just saying you want a makeover without a plan means you're always wanting a makeover but never proceeding forward. Saying you want to be more organized without an actual plan to become more organized means you're always wanting but never succeeding. And I don't want you to continue to want. I want this to be the year of the curvy comeback where you actually succeed in that makeover from the inside out. Where you actually go forth, conquer and slay in clothes that actually fit you, fit your body and your personal style. And from a really big meta perspective, why is this so important? Because if I can get you to stop tolerating little annoying things like clothing not fitting you, And I can get you to see how this is not serving you in your business. It's not serving you as a leader in your community. If I can show you that where these little, these little intolerances that you've been putting up with, these things are actually intolerable, but you've been putting up with them anyway. If I can show you how they're doing you a disservice and I can show you how to say no to things that don't serve you. And I can show you how to say no to something that doesn't fit your body. And I can show you how to say no to something that doesn't fit your personal lifestyle. Then I can open up a whole world of what it is that you want. You have to get rid of what's not working so that we can call in and make space for what we want. But it starts with the small things. And if you don't have a relationship with yourself, so where if your body sends up a signal that it's uncomfortable and you ignore it, your body's going to get the message that you just are going to ignore it. And we all talk about like, I want a better relationship with myself. Well, it starts with, are you putting up with uncomfortable clothes? Well, how do we know? Are you doing the dance? And then why? Why are you tolerating stuff that doesn't fit you? Why are you putting up with it? Because that's the mindset work. That's the confidence piece. Yes, we can change your clothes into items that fit you. It's absolutely, let's do it. Let's do the thing. But also, why were you putting up with that in the first place? And that, that is what I love to coach my clients on. That's how we get to the heart of the matter. That's how we get that inside out transformation. Yes, we figure out what's physically not working for you and then understand why you were tolerating that so that you can apply that in a meta way all over your life. Finances, relationships, career, all the things. But it starts with really being aware and honoring the signal your body is sending up when it says, this isn't working for me. I'm uncomfortable. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is twofold. One, start noticing where you're doing that little dance. (laughs) Where are things uncomfortable physically and have you been ignoring them? And then number two, ask yourself why you have been tolerating all these little discomforts and get some coaching as to the reason why. If you need some coaching, you can schedule a free consultation with me, a free coaching session. It's a mini session. There'll be a link below in the comments or there'll be a link in the show notes. Or you can visit judasgatoncom forward slash scheduler. Until next time, my darling, Miss J out. Thank you for listening to today's episode. To learn more about how to work with me, go to judasgatoncom Click on the Start Here button to get access to my free personal style class. I give you a quick style win, a confidence boost, and you walk away with the tools to start getting stylish. Who doesn't love that? See you there. Miss J out.